All right. So today I have another Fitch, another <laughs> another Stitch Fix. Uh, I am exhausted, and it got here today, which means I have to do it today because I have to return it in the next few days, and I'm working every freaking day. So it's like, where am I gonna find the time? So I'm gonna have to just like make it work. However, I'm excited because it's finally here. Um, all right, without any more rambling on my end, let's look at the little note and see what my girl Jenna has to say. She says, hey Isis, happy fix day. The festive holiday season is upon us and I can't wait for you to dig into this fix full of cheer. I had so much fun styling you today and have sent you some pieces that you can wear for the holiday season. Let's start with the bottoms. I've sent the Liverpool Pull-On Skinny Jean your way to add to your collection. Style the skinnies with the Dreamy Collective Concepts blouse. Finish the look off with a pair of earrings and the amazing Report footwear lace-up flat. Layer the look with the classic Ren and Willa structured jacket for a chic holiday party look. Style the skinnies with the pink clover knit top. And that was all the caps. So she really wants me to know that. Knit top and finish the flats for an effortless look. As always, please be sure to let me know your thoughts on everything and of course, have so much fun trying it all on. Cheers, Jenna. I love Jenna. She's been good so far. If it wasn't for that stupid ass, oh, the pants from the last fix, I ended up wanting to get a smaller size or something like that, I can't remember. And they didn't have any more. They didn't have any more. And I'd already sent it back by then. I was like, no! And I wanted to like go back to the post office and ask them to get it back so I could keep those pants, but. Anywho, let's get into the first thing I see here, besides Horace, ignore him. Their shoes, this is what this little bag means, I'm excited, ooh, and look at this, my fix this time is like a holiday fix, it's all like bling bling, look, it says Stitch Fix 17 on there, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, sticker, it's cute, first thing first. The shoes. So I can see here, this is what they look like. I'm not a fan of like a long back, just cause, I don't know, I just find that they sit funny. But I am a fan of this color. I love this color. And they're like, what, would, what shape would you call it? Like an almond? I like it. Not super pointy. It's like not really a heel. Excited to try these on. Very nice. I tried. Good. Hey, no. All right. Stop. Stop. Do you guys see how he flinches? I don't even have to touch him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey. Sit down, sit, sit, sit down. Do not bite my box. All right. Okay, so the first thing I see is this sweater. It's really long and the back looks like this. Pretty interesting. And this is the pink clover. Oh, this is the shirt she was talking about. The one that she was super excited about. This is the one. For some reason, I thought it was like a pink shirt with clovers. <laughs> like little green clovers. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it has a really long thing in the back. I'll give more details about these as I try them on. Ooh, this shirt I'm really liking. Excuse me. All right. So. This top I really like so far. It's pretty see-through, as you guys can probably see my whole couch. So it's something that I'd have to wear like a, a cami for. And it looks like the sleeves, um, you can button them up. I wonder how long they are though. They better be long. Looks like it is a long sleeve, sweet. I really like this. This is super, super cute. Hopefully the colors are coming up right. I think this is a dark blue. I don't even think it's a black. Or maybe it is black. I could be colorblind. I'm very tired. But I can't wait to try that on. That'll be interesting. All right. 
the last piece here, which I think is blue. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a blue because I did ask for a blue coat for winter. However, this is more like a coat. So maybe someone that doesn't have an actual winter could use this. This isn't going to do anything for like below freezing weather when it's freaking snowing. Like this isn't anything super thin. So just based off of this right now, I don't feel like I'm going to waste my money on this. Um, but I'm sure it's probably super expensive. And like I said, it's super thin. So what's the point of it? Um, but this is how it looks. It looks more like a blazer than anything. Um, but it is a pretty color. We'll see how it looks when I try it on. Give my, my final thoughts on that. And then the last piece here is um, the Liverpool size for dream liking. So they're like the jegging type of material. They're black. I did request black pants, I think. So yes, forgetting what I want. Um, we'll see how they look. I mean, right now, I don't know if I'm gonna like the shape that they are, just because they seem pretty like, pretty wide, but who knows? I always think that these things aren't gonna fit me and then it's like a flawless fit, so. Yeah, can't wait to try them on. It has an interesting, because this is a, a legging, but this is like a G material, so it feels like these are pregnancy pants. Pants? Pants, wow. <laughs> Just because it has that elastic belly. Um, we'll see. We will see. I gotta try all this stuff on, and then I'll be back. All right, I have returned. And I come to you wearing the Ren and Willa in an extra small. Gentry structure jacket. It is $128 and it is in fact navy. So not only does she keep my neck thing in check, like she looked out for me there, but she also got the color that I wanted. However, it's uh, like I said, it's like a, a blazer material. It's super thin, super thin. It has a nice um, lining. But it's, uh, the quality I would not say is super high. And let me see if I can back this up more. This is where it hits me, it hits me right there. It has some pockets. And like I said, other than these like very flimsy buttons, which I don't think would last long, you'd probably have to save them and get it like reattached because they'd fall off because they just seem really loose. That's it, it's just this like buttoning right here. And this is it. Which this coat would be perfect in Los Angeles. Like if I still lived in LA, this would be great. But I live in northern Nevada. It's fucking freezing up here. And <laughs> this isn't gonna do shit if I'm wearing like hella layers, but this is an extra small, so I had, had to wear something really thin. This would have been perfect for like a summer jacket for the evening and summer. This is so cute for that. However, for $120 and it's not what I need for winter, it's not working for me. So I like it. However, it's not what I need right now. So that's gonna be a no. And then I have on this shirt, which I actually really love. I did not have the time to go get a black cami because it's, it's way too late for me to do so much right now. All I want to do is go to bed. And I'm going to do it right after this. Um, and this is the Collective Concepts in an Extra Small Petite Rilo Button-Up Blouse. And this is $64. I really like the print. It's just some roses. Does it say what color this is? This has to be black. Yeah, this is black, so earlier I said it was blue, it is obviously not. Um, and that's where it hits me, it hits me a little bit over, and this part is shorter in the front, which I really like, so it's like the, the high-low kind of thing. Um, there's no slits, it's very sheer, so I had to wear something underneath it, or be okay with just wearing a bra or like a black cami, which I can totally do. And I love the neck, it doesn't affect me at all. I freaking love this blouse. If I don't get anything else, this is probably the one thing I get, because I fucking love it. I don't know if it's worth $64 because it's so thin. I could sneeze and have made, made a stronger material, but I really like it. I feel like this is a perfect blast for like Valentine's Day. I don't know why, but yeah. All right, so down below, I am wearing the Liverpool in a four petite in black Elizabeth super skinny jean, and they are $70. I am not a fan of these. They feel like maturity pants. Um, this is the down here. This is the band. Hopefully you guys can see the lighting in here is probably terrible because it's so late. Um, 
yeah, so they have pockets, not in the front though. They're just long and black. They're not like tapered, so it adds more material than I actually need down here. Um, but they just, they don't do anything for me. They're just like, whatever, I'm not a fan of them. Like, I don't like hate them, but they're not like amazing either. I don't know, maybe, maybe they are awesome. I just don't know how to appreciate them, but I'm just, eh, that's how I feel about them right now. I have two more things to try on and then I'll be back. All right. So the last blouse is this one, and this is the extra small in a, in a color gray. Uh, the from the brand Pink Clover, the Alberta lace up back knit top. It is forty two dollars. This is something that I just pictured like someone going to sleep in, like it's a pajama. It's not necessarily something you'd wear like a style. I don't know. This is what it looks like from the top. Okay, just your standard like top right and then you turn around and you got all this all this stuff going on as you guys can see I mean you guys know I'm short so um, this is we're in hit season all this like string I don't know it, it doesn't really like do anything for me and they don't come smaller than extra small so this is like as small as it gets and it's just like <laughs> so yeah I don't know I feel like it has potential for someone that is okay with like pajama wear. I don't know. This just it's soft, but I think something I would sleep in, but the strings are kind of make it annoying. Um, all right. And then the final piece, I'm gonna actually take the phone off and like flip the camera around to show you that part. All right, and the final piece are the Burgundy size 7 from the brand Report Footwear Bell Faux Suede Lace Up Flat for $39. These are them. Um, as you can see, it has like a high back. This is what they look like. They're not super comfortable, but they're not like uncomfortable. This one has like a weird like buildup of um, materials on the inside where it's like bunched up. I don't know, it's weird. Almost like if you like had an old shoe, but these are obviously like brand new. Um, I like them. They're not bad for the price, like 40 bucks. This isn't bad. Oh, but I forget that everything for them is like plus tax later, so who knows how much they would be. Um, but yeah, that's that. The shoes. All right, so that is everything that was in my fix. I feel like it was all catered to me. Everything was the perfect choice. It just came down to like materials and fit on me, which that's where usually it gets lost in translation, but I feel like Jenna picked everything perfectly. Um, out of everything, I'd probably only keep this top. I love it. It's a little pricey for $64, and that's, you know, pre-tax. So the subtotal of everything was $351. If you buy five of them, you save 25%, which would leave you with $87.75 off of that, and then minus your credit for your styling fee. It's another $20, which would put it at $243.25 before tax, because... Where they do it differently is that they don't factor in the tax, and so that's how much it is, and then it's plus a tax. Um, so, the shoes I like, but they have some weird like straps, I don't know. But they're not too expensive. So I like the top and the shoes. The jacket I love, it's a perfect color. I like the style, however it's not seasonally appropriate. And then this top is super soft, but I'd probably never wear it in public. And then the pants, I just didn't really like to fit on. I wish they were a little bit more, like, tapered down my leg than, like, looser down there. I don't know. It just feels weird. But who knows? I still have a few days to decide it. I'm super tired right now. So maybe tomorrow when I try everything on again, I'll, like, love everything. Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Um, but, yeah, that was everything in my fix. Let me know what you guys thought. And I hope you have a good night. And thank you for watching.